amazing that you have done is about your social media following, which is about 76 million users. That's like really, really massive. Okay? So I think what the audience would love to understand is you grew this from zero. So there is some magic, some growth hacks that you use. Please tell us more about it. So we opened Healthcare Magic in 2008, me, Kunal, and Nikhil. And in 2009, we raised funding uh, from Axel to 1 million. And in those days, in uh, 2008, 9, uh, social media was at a very nascent stage. And even the Facebook and Twitter were just catching up in India, actually. So what we did at Healthcare Magic was, uh, in the first year, Healthcare Magic as a company is basically a ask a doctor or ask a specialist service where you go online and you can connect with doctors and you can subscribe to other packages and you can get your health questions answered. This is what we do. So, initial traffic, what we did is that we built a medical team which wrote around 20,000 plus doctor handwritten articles by doctor within six months. That view was good amount of organic traffic to begin and at the same time when the social media was catching up in India, I'm coming in 2008. So we happened to ask a lot of our customers what we want in terms of uh, health in social media. So we thought that people will be more interested in asking or connecting with the doctor through social media, but that backfired actually. We thought that uh, people, uh, because health is a, many of you and as well as anyone consider health as a private matter. People don't want to go to Facebook or Twitter and ask a question about their health go down. Then uh, I happened to ask when I was in time, I that I, asked, I started asking many of my friends what they want in health in terms of uh, uh, health on social media. So the conclusion was I happened to ask around 300 friends of mine. They, the conclusion was people were interested in very small set of information, which is very uh, which should be very interesting and engaging. And it should be, once you read it, you should remember it or you can share it. You have an intent to share it. So then we came up with something called Daily Health Tips. So Daily Health Tips was a total uh, different thing from Health Magic. Daily Health Tips was just a plain 140 character because Twitter still allows 140 characters. So we started posting small tips, like tips like which uh, many of people don't know. For example, uh, uh, after having your banana, if you peel banana uh, leaf on your tip, it will whiten your feet. So these kind of tips, which is interesting to people. So we started sharing these kind of tidbits on social media and uh, people like it actually. This is what people were interested in social media. Then uh, uh, over the time, it, many people started retweeting uh, it and within three months we were around 100,000 plus on FD and Twitter as well. And what we learned over the time is that uh, once you start posting your uh, content on a regular basis, then people will start, if uh, your content is engaging or if it is worth sharing with, if it is gaining uh, uh, generating any interest among people, then people will definitely share it or retweet it or we share it. And over the time, it took us around uh, two, two and a half years to cross one million mark and uh, today uh, we have following of three million plus on FB, three million plus on Twitter. And not many people know because we, uh, most of our customer base seems to be outside India. And uh, so we happen to be one of the largest followed brand on Twitter and probably number one on Twitter in health today as well, with more than 3 million following on Twitter. So, in the meantime, what we learned is that if you want to increase your uh, startup space on social media, or uh, most of everything is content, and it is always going to be content. So, if you have good content which is relevant to your audience or relevant to your customers, if you are able to share it on a regular basis, then second thing after content is your feedbacks. So what happens is that people will create some social media activities and all these six million following at Healthcare Magic was achieved without spending a single dollar on that. It was purely organic. Okay. So the feedbacks, so for example, if you have your customers outside India, then uh, there are many tools, like there is a tool called Buffer, which we use at Healthcare Magic. We will automate it completely, all the postings and everything. And it should be uh, on a very regular basis, means your uh, audience should be updated on a regular basis, whatever is your, whether you are a consumer facing a startup or you are an enterprise or you are a SaaS or whatever. 
And uh, third thing which comes after frequency is you have to study uh, your audience and which what kind of reactions they are giving, giving to your posts, what kind of uh, engagement they are having, what is the reach for page. And you have to be updated on Facebook's algo as well, whatever they are doing on pages, news feed, uh, pages, uh, postings. So I remember one small trick which we learned over time was, for example, if you post, let's say you are posting a couple of uh, media posts like images or videos, which are giving, giving you a lot of reach over Facebook, depending on whatever is your uh, page system and page audience. So if you want to promote your product or brand in, the, in between, for example, first top two posts are posted because it's a media post on Facebook. Then you definitely, definitely if you post two more media posts after that, whether it is image or video, it is going to get posted by Facebook because Facebook is thinking that it is getting organic reach. So in between, if you post a URL post, which will directly go to your landing page or anything, Facebook will automatically assume that that is also going to get posted and Facebook will post it along with your image posts. So this is the trick which we learned in Facebook. And uh, the same thing happens in Twitter as well. Means, uh, we have a large page, so we can uh, actually figure out what is posting, what is not posting, and what kind of traction we got in this URL posting. So uh, if you're, for example, if you have some uh, conversion pages or landing pages, which, and if you do have a decent uh, following on social media, then this is one trick we learned that in between some media posts, if you post on your post, it will definitely get posted and it will get you a lot of uh, organic following as well as a lot of landing to the members and pages. And uh, after this, uh, so first thing is content, second thing is your frequency, third thing which is uh, you have to learn through your audience as well as kind of the post which you are posting, how they are getting, getting posts, what kind of traction, what kind of landing they are getting. And you have to track everything. So still today, means with 6 million following, we still get around 300 to 350 payments through Twitter and Facebook, organically, without doing anything, on the panel. So this is uh, what we are doing at Healthcare Magic for. So because converting social is a very difficult thing. Means you, can, you can easily convert all the SEO traffic as well as all your by spending money on Facebook. But converting social traffic is still actually one of the challenging things. Okay, all of this has been a masterclass. Thank you so much.